Welcome to Horrorverse. My name is Cody Hawk, and today we're going to be reviewing a new product that I just recently purchased. Um, and I was just going to let you guys know ahead of time, I already recorded this intro, but I'm doing it again before you see the unboxing because the unboxing is from yesterday when I actually got the package. But I recently ordered a new microphone, I just got it in today, so I wanted to test it out and see how much better it sounds than the camera microphone I was already using. So I'm doing the intro again, and I was just giving you guys a heads up that. If the audio sounds better now, that is why. And in the video you're about to see, it's going to be the original audio before I got the microphone, so it's not going to sound as good as this hopefully does now. So just giving you guys that note, so you guys know before you see the next video, and the audio sounds like shit. Just a heads up. Um, but we are going to be unboxing a new product today, a horror replica that I just got from Amazon.com. Hope you guys enjoy it. I'll All right, and we're back. Let's open it up. Here's the box. I guess that just came from Amazon. So let's get this open and show you guys what I got and we will see if it's decent quality for the price. I didn't spend a lot on it. Um, there's another version of this from NECA that's about double the price. Um, but obviously I'm not, I, mean, I guess you guys don't know yet, but I'm not really going to use this. You know, it's mainly just for uh, decoration and for prop and if I ever do a video movie review on this. Um, so I, I, as long as it's in a decent quality, you know, it's not the end of the world. So that's cool. So I don't get to, I haven't even seen it yet. It comes with the back of the box. So here it is. I don't know if you guys can see that from here. It is the, what brand is this? Ruby's Freddy Krueger replica metal glove is what they're calling it. But, you know, scissor hands, they're not scissor hands, what? Knife hands, knife fingers. So there's the front. Get a little good look at that. So from first look, I mean, it looks pretty good. Um, like I said, I mean, it was only thirty dollars, so I expect it to be amazing. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm happy with it so far. I mean, and it feels relatively heavy. Like it's not super light, which is a good thing. You know, it means it's more, I guess, realistic. Um, but yeah, there's one from NECA that's supposed to be a lot better. Um, but I think it's $69. And I was going to buy it the other day, actually, because um, a store in my town used to sell it. But for whatever reason, they quit. So I was like, I'll just give this one a try first. So there it is. And I will... This might take a second, but there's zip ties on it. So we have to get these bad boys off. Um, but yeah, I've been wanting one of these for a while. Like I said, just to you know, set up the background. Um, so I thought it would look really cool, but I just didn't want to spend the money on it. And then I seen this one that got decent, pretty good reviews for only thirty dollars. You know, and I was like, I'll, you know, I'll give that a try. <coughs> um, I'm actually wanting to try to find somewhere online. I don't know how I'm going to because they're pretty expensive. I want to try to find the. Um, I want to actually find the book from Evil Dead. I'm not even going to try to pronounce it because I always butcher that. Um, but I'm actually going, hopefully, going to a. Uh, Fan Expo next month, and Bruce Campbell's going to be there, so it'd be awesome if we find that book and have him sign it. Um, they, I know they came out with a special edition of the movies. They came with the book, and but people were trying to sell it, you know, used for like a hundred dollars. And I know a awesome website called uh, uh, Trick or Treat Studios. I don't know if you guys have heard of those. If not, you should go check them out. They have one you can pre-order right now for eighty nine ninety nine, which I would do in a heartbeat. But I don't think it's going to be here before I go to that because it's in less than a month away. So I'm going to try to figure something out there. But I got the gloves out. Oh man, yeah, this feels pretty, pretty good. Um, now they're not, um, they're not sharp, which I mean I'm okay with because I would totally <coughs> cut myself with them. But <coughs> let's see if it even fit my hand. I got a big hand see here get this bad boy on without cutting myself maybe all right so it is a small fist um, I think I can get it on though but yeah it is kind of a tight fit here um, which like I said I mean I have a bigger hand so I mean yeah if you have an average size hand this will probably fit fine um, but like I said I mean I'm not gonna wear it around the house or anything so that's not that big of a deal. 
I'm trying to get it on all the way so I can actually move the finger or the knife hands, knife fingers. Alright, so I can't, that's about as far as I can get it on. Like I said, it's a tight fit. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's not perfect by any means. Um, the joints here are really loose, which might not be that bad. Because, see, if you, I don't know if you guys can see it, my fingers don't go all the way up, they're supposed to go to there. Um, but like I said, I have big hands, so that doesn't really work. Um, but I would assume if you can get it all the way up there, that that probably wouldn't be a big deal. Um, but with me not being able to, I can't really move them too much. I mean, um, but like I said, overall, I mean, I'm happy with it. Um, so like I said, I mean, I'm not going to sit here and play with it in my hand. I mean, it would be kind of cool. But uh, for just a prop, you know, replica in the background of videos or just in my room in general, I mean, it would look pretty cool set up. Um, I would probably, I haven't, like, seen the NECA version out of box in person. Um, but I would probably recommend that one over this one just because, like I said, the joints here are extremely loose and you can't tighten them or anything like that. Um, and I know that, I mean, anything from NECA for the most part is really good quality. Um, so I would probably recommend that one over this one. I might eventually upgrade to that one. But like I said, for the time being, this one looks good enough to be in the background. Um, but yeah, see, I can't really move that one because my finger doesn't go all the way up there. Um, but I mean, like I said, just, just kind of sit on the table, you know, kind of like that. Beside uh, some other collectibles will definitely be worth it. Um, what I say it's worth 30 bucks. I mean, it really depends. I mean, if you really want a Freddy Krueger glove and you don't have the 60 plus dollars, I mean, there's multiple versions. I know there's a website that actually makes these by hand that look amazing. Um, I don't know how much those cost. I would assume those are expensive since they're made by hand. Um, but I would say if you have the money for the NECA or that one, I would get that one. But if this is like your limit of money and you're solely wanting it to sit down, you know, on a collectible table or, you know, if you're playing being Freddy Krueger for Halloween, I would think this one worked perfectly fine. Um, like I said, I mean, it isn't great. I don't know if you guys can see that on camera, but like the blades aren't completely attached to this fake copper. Um, and like I said, the glove's really tiny. Um, which, I mean, I guess if you really wanted to, if you want to go through effort, you could probably do something about that. You could probably get this glove part off and put in your own glove and make that work somehow. Um, but, I mean, that's a lot of work that you shouldn't have to do since, you're, you know, you're paying money for this. So, yeah, on a budget, I would, I would say this would be fine to set up in your room or wherever, use it for trick-or-treating. Um, but, I mean, if you're wanting a high replica version, um... I would say go with the NECA one. I don't know if there's one on Trick or Treat Studios. I mean, they have a lot of replicas and a lot of props, so I would assume they do. Um, but if you do want one, um, I will post the Trick or Treat's website down below, and you can check it out. If they don't have it, I mean, they have a lot of amazing things. Everything from um, the book from Evil Dead to a life-size Michael Myers. I mean, they it's an amazing website. they got a lot of stuff. I mean, it is expensive, but you're also getting high-quality products. So, I mean, that makes it worth it, in my opinion. Um, but, yeah, so that's my review over this. I mean, like I said, it might not be great, but it still looks cool sitting up on a table. And that's really all I wanted it for, so it works perfectly for my needs. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys later.